Earth heroes, fighting to save the Earth. Earth heroes, making the planet a better place. Earth heroes, we're watching your every move. Oh. Earth heroes, mess up and we'll rearrange your face. Earth heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Golly gee, there's a lot of bags on this beach. Yeah, this is really uncool. Huh? I'm getting an incoming transmission. What are you Earth heroes doing with my plastic bags? We're getting rid of them once and for all. Then how do you plan on doing that? <laughs> We're gonna fuse them all together, plastic bag monster, and make a laptop case out of them. Yeah! You'll never get away with this, Earth Heroes! I'm gonna get you two if it's the last thing I do! Alright, so the materials that you're gonna need for this project are some wax paper, some scissors, an iron, and most importantly, plastic bags from underneath your sink. These crinkly bags, the kind that you get from grocery stores, these are the perfect candidates for this project. Also, if you have any cool logos on them, like I Love New York, get little uh, happy faces and stuff like that, definitely make cool art for your bag. All right, so once you have your bag that you like, you're gonna prepare it simply by cutting off first the handles, and make sure you save these handles because you're gonna use them at the end. Now that the handles are cut off, we're gonna cut off the bottom, just right at the edges. Now you're gonna make sure if you have any logos on your bag that you turn it inside out or else this ink is just gonna get all over the place. Next you're gonna fold your bag to where you have eight layers of plastic. So you can fold it once and twice and you have eight layers. You can either do it in a square or a rectangle. We're ready to fuse our bags. The first thing you wanna do is open up your windows for ventilation and turn on your iron. All right, next grab your wax paper and get two lengths the size of your plastic bag. Now take your plastic bag and sandwich it in between your two pieces of wax paper. We keep our iron on in about the medium setting, making sure to keep the iron moving at all times. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds for each side. So you just wanna remove your wax plastic. Now you wanna check and see if you have any bubbles in your plastic, cause this will lead to uh, holes and eventually tearing. And there you go, you just fused plastic. Now another cool thing you could do is cut out shapes or other pieces of plastic and fuse them onto one another, like this. Huh? Don't worry, be happy. All right, so we fused together about 10 plastic bags so far, which is gonna be the perfect amount for our laptop case. Next step is to sew them all together, which Corinne's gonna show us how to do when we return. You're watching Threadbanger. Hey, welcome back. All right, so we're here in the Threadbanger workshop with all our fused plastic, and I'm gonna show you how to make a padded laptop case. First, true up all your pieces by trimming the sides. Then, position all the pieces together to make a rectangle big enough to fit your computer on it twice, with a bit extra for a closure flap. Make sure you have about two and a half inches of a seam allowance on both sides. Now sew all your pieces together by overlapping them on top of each other and sewing with a zigzag stitch. Once you reach your desired size, take out the fabric you want to use for the lining, in this case an old sweatshirt, and cut a piece that's the same size as the fused plastic rectangle. Place the pieces together right sides facing in. Don't use straight pins on the fused plastic. The holes from the pins will weaken the plastic. Instead, you can use bobby pins to hold the pieces together without leaving punctures. Now, sew the liner and the shell together, but leave one end open. Turn it right side out and sew a seam about an inch in from the edge. Next, sew a seam two inches up from the bottom. Then take out some more plastic bags, all the bag scraps from earlier, the wax paper you used, and begin stuffing the case. When you get about four inches up, sew a seam. Stuff some more, sew a seam. Do this till you get about six inches from the top. Now fold and sew the top edge down. 
Place the case right sides together, leaving room for the flap. Sew down both sides and turn it right side out. Fold in and sew the sides of the flap, add some Velcro, and you have a new laptop case. There's a ton of things you can do with fused plastic. I also made this handy dandy shopping bag. Visit the Threadbanger blog for complete written instructions. Speaking of other things you can make out of plastic bags, check out this hand woven plastic bag ball gown we found over on the Threadbanger forums submitted by member Bucky for Perez. Also on the forums, Talip created this little number using plastic bags. There's a panda in my pants constructed, well, what other than a fused plastic panda? And a technique we thought was pretty cool comes from Miss Heather Bunny, where she fuses feathers and other cool things into her plastic material. Need more inspiration? Or just want to add a little of your own? Hit up the Threadbanger forums! Hey, that's it for this week. It's now time to bust out all those plastic bags and get to work. Make sure to upload your most clever creations to Threadbanger.com, and we'll see you next week. Hey, so if you like this video, we got a couple more for you. Right over here. Click one. <laughs>